From the old one? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So from here to basically up to the labels is identical. Okay. Everything in the feeder is the same. In fact, this is your old scale. We're working on getting you the new one. So it was something Tara felt was missed. Mm -hmm. So but the colors will match then instead of the chrome. <laughs> but I did get that license, so it's good for at least 30 days. Thank you. All right. Ceiling solution, I started you off the blue stuff that comes with it. We prefer this over water because water, especially downtown Cincinnati, has a lot of crud in it. Sure. They'll grow bacteria, eats up the brushes and sponges. And I can't see you at all. Okay. Don't be shy. I don't bite. I'm on the other side of the table. Uh, so again, loading feeder, all this is all the same. Got it. No adjustments, no changes there. All right. On the mail machine, we put all your accounts in. It has been modified. So if there's something you may have used to use, I guess is the right way. Mm -hmm. There's some of them that are gone. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, but this is Tara's new list. So you still accept your account like normal. Okay. Feeder's all set up, so the sealer turns itself on like normal. The screen should look a little different. Starting up here, you've got two boxes. These mm -hmm. are for text or slogans. Probably never used them on the old one. Probably won't use them on this one. Mm -hmm. uh, but now you have two of which you won't use. The other one only had one. Mm -hmm. uh, defaults first class letter, today's date. Again, all of this is predominantly the same, but they look a little different. Mm -hmm. This is your scale icon. Mm -hmm. It starts off in dynamic mode, which your old one did as well. If you're going to weigh packages, you would tap the scale button. You could select standard. Mm -hmm. That scale is now active. Okay. okay. Also on the scale, if you've ever used it or not, there's manual weight. So if you have something, this is a 10 pound scale. If you have something over 10 pounds, you can weigh it somewhere else. You can actually key in the weight and it'll calculate postage up to 70 pounds. That's post office limit. Uh, there's a dynamic batch. I don't know if you've ever used that in the past. Mm -hmm. I kind of like it. If you've got a lot of mail, it's all the same. Mm -hmm. What it'll do, put in the batch mode, you'll hit start, it'll run one and pause. And it'll say, do you want to put this postage on it? Hit OK again. It takes off twice as fast as weighing in dynamic mode. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't have to weigh it, you're already telling it it weighs the same. Sure. Still measures the length to make sure that you don't have any jams or double feeds or anything like that. Mm -hmm. But it's just a way to get more process out. Um, the icon looks a little different too. It's got all these letters, shingle, shingle, shingle behind it. That's how you know you're in batch. Also says the word batch, but I'll go back to dynamic for now. Keypad, it's still very similar. Got your rate key, your memory, but you also have a touch screen. Well, that was weird. I put all those in there and they're gone. Excuse me a second. If you're going to run the strip labels, again, most likely it's going to be for packages. So you weigh it, get your price, label, start, it'll dispense your label. Is your labels the same as what's up there? Is it Those will be the same, yes. Okay. There is a little pack of what they call starter labels. That's a one-time use label, if you notice it's a lot shorter. Uh -huh. So there's a little air embossed. Yep, on this end. Okay. So these would feed with the arrow facing right and last if you want to use these up but it's only one this part back here is going to be waste okay don't try and use it twice okay okay not made for that <coughs> excuse me all right so rest of the buttons are the same back arrow is still the same home button's the same check mark is the new okay it's universal menu it's three bars three dots mm -hmm. i don't know if you ever had to access the menu i do when i have to read the Your reports yeah yep so that'll be where you go okay um, start and stop still the same. That kind of is where most of the similarities stop as far as the keyboard goes. Mm -hmm. On the old machine, we can hit start and run zeros. Mm -hmm. It's going to think about it because we have dynamic scale. It's not going to let me run zero. What it will do is it will change postage and put money on it. That's what it's designed to do. So if I want to tape, I'm going to have to switch to my standard scale. I'm going to go label and hit start. Zero franking is not allowed. It does not let you add zero postage anymore. Okay. Okay. Some people used to do that, kind of cover up a date that they might have had on an old piece of mail mm -hmm. so they could have a current mm -hmm. date. Mm -hmm. Can't do it that way anymore. Uh, okay, so there's a sticker on the front that means you're postal compliant. The old one was not. That's one of the changes. The next change is have you ever had to go back and add money because you didn't put the right postage on? That's you right now. It happens. 
On the old machine, you could just walk up, key in postage. They won't let you key in postage that way anymore. Okay. So you have to backdoor it. There's a button down here. It's got an envelope with a gear. It's called Customize Stamp. It defaults to standard, so you tap standard. There's amount correction. Amount. Now it gets a box where you can key in postage. Okay. So if it's 20 cents, it would be 200 zero, zero, because it's a fractional meter. Mm -hmm. Tell it OK. Validate. Now your screen looks a lot different. There's a lot of things that were on that were on there that aren't now. Because this is an amount correction stamp. This though can go on the back, the bottom, the side. Just don't print over the original print. What's going to be different about your print is you're going to have a barcode. The other one, if you remember, is a half a barcode. Mm -hmm. Now it's a whole barcode. And they're scanning and tracking every piece of mail you send. Okay. They say it's supposed to help. So we'll see. Mm -hmm. All right, so you run all your 20s that you had to fix. <clears throat> to get out of it, just put sleep, wake it back up right away. That way you don't have to wait for the thing to go all the way to sleep. Then you can select your account again, and everything is turned back on. She's bolting. Mm -hmm. I guess, do we need to wait? Probably. Is she going to be the one to teach Sam? Maybe. Maybe yeah. she will be, yeah. Okay. Oh, pause. Oh, he's getting the whole gang. Where's the balloons, the cake? <laughs> Not that kind of party. So, can't key in money, can't run zero postage. Mm -hmm. The date has become very important to the post office. Yes. Mm -hmm. So they want the same date on the mail that it's the mail stream. Yes. Oh, wow. So if it's postmarked today, it goes in the mailbox today. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you forget and go, oh. so you got mail tomorrow that mm -hmm. was posted today, go back through customized stamp. There's a standard again, and then there's a redate. You can tap the date and put it on whatever day. So if you're posting again today, you would just leave it on today because tomorrow will be today. Does that make sense? So if you're posting ahead of time, you can go today plus one, plus two, plus three. Mm -hmm. But to backdate something is really going to be the same day because you're running day behind. So let me I, ask you on that because I know this has happened. Mail gets picked up, let's say at 11 o'clock. That's what I was thinking. Yeah. And it's in the afternoon, and it's usually someone upstairs. Um, who's oh, you're blaming the ones that aren't here. I was not here part of the training right now, <laughs> but they will. If they come down and it's 6 30 and they, you know, or 4 30, they'll stamp something, and then tomorrow morning we'll see stuff there. By doing that, uh, does it just put on the date? Yes, in lieu this of the will, zero go sticker the that you used to It will only add a date. And again, you can put that front top. Back. So you just have to position the yep. mail. And they'll actually say redate with the date, and it'll print a new barcode, but that barcode is just the date. Okay. Barcode. Is there a preference where? Uh, the post office doesn't care. They said front, top, back, anywhere, it just not okay. over the original print okay. again. That's key, because they kind of have different hours. Than now, are, it seems they like. do, are they the worst offenders? Well, yeah. Okay. We're awesome down here. Yeah, if we're being honest. That's right. Okay. Yes. I can actually program the machine. So your mail guy picks up every day? Or do you take it to a box? No, no. Uh, generally, it gets day. picked up. It might I like be that word, a day, a month that it doesn't. But yeah. um, because I can program the machine at a particular time to ask you, do you want to change the date? <laughs> and every time it wakes up, first thing it's going to do is ask for your account. Then it'll ask if you want to advance the date. Yeah. And if it's no, it'll stay on today's date. If mm -hmm. you tell it yes, we're going to go tomorrow's date, mm -hmm. it'll date no. it to the next business day. Yeah. But it's a choice. It, it doesn't sure. make you do it. So if somebody comes down at 4.30 and they want it to go in the mailbox today, they need to know if you're posting it today, you're going to take it and drop it in the mailbox somewhere. Interesting. We can do that. Mm -hmm. I'm cool with it because yeah, at cool. least it, it prompts you. And if you're like, no, the mail hasn't come yet, yeah, put right. on today's date. At least it makes you. Yeah. Does he usually pick up back here? Yeah, Tender. he picks up right. back here. Okay. Yeah. And whatever time for Shenda thinks since she. It's usually between uh, eleven and two. So we usually set it at the earliest time. Because then, if you can see the mail still sitting here while you're running stuff, you go, oh, nope, I don't have to. Good. Throw it in the box and go. Sure. That's convenient that it's right here. Because mm -hmm. well, a lot of places, right. the mail room's in the back of the building. Mail gets picked up at the receptionist desk, mm -hmm. and nobody has an idea. Correct. So. Correct. Well, no, that's, uh, please. Okay. That sounds great. So I will change that. Thank you. So it'll be 11 o'clock. Sure. Okay. Yeah. So we'll get out of there. Now, the one thing we'll do when you ask to advance the date, it's going to give you a pop up warning. Hey, you don't want the date too far ahead either. Mm -hmm. So just out, okay, I know. 
All right, this is the last big one. Um, larger packages over 13 ounces. Anybody do some of those? You think this one's heavy enough? I happen to have a couple of kits. It'll be close, so let's see what happens. Got to switch to standard. Ah, you lose. Not over 13. Okay. So let's, let's take it there. All right, anything over 13 ounces asks for a zip code. That means it's going priority mail. Mm. Okay. So first thing it asks for is a zip code. The old machine did that as well. Mm -hmm. So can a zip, doesn't matter where. We hit okay. Now it starts asking questions. The old one did not do this. Mm -hmm. This is part of the new postal compliancy. Is it a rectangle or not? A square by the post office's wonderful mind is considered a rectangle. So <laughs> keep that in mind too. So a non-rectangle is going to be a tube, a triangle, a basketball, just sure. strange stuff. Most of yours will probably be a rectangle. Mm -hmm. So we leave it highlighted, just hit okay. Now it wants you to put in dimensions. Kidding me. Oh, man, I'm going to have a hard time with that. Man. Don't shoot the messenger. I know. Have you a ruler? Is there a ruler back here? No. Right. There's yardsticks right there behind you. Yeah. Okay. I have to see this. Thing. So Where do you get such a collection? So you're you're all all so you could just are they meter sticks? Go boom, boom. Ah. Okay. So, a lot of stuff you may do is going to be similar over and over. So, like at this. Mm -hmm. These will be similar. These this is a 9 by 12 envelope. I can tell by looking at it because I've been doing this for 43 years. Mm -hmm. So, you got two dimensions. Sure. So, we'll put in 12, 9. Now, the thickness, that obviously is not going to be priority, but if we use this as an example, we'll look at that, we think, three quarters of an inch? You're going to make it easy and round up to an inch sure. because anything a cubic foot or less is going to be the same price, just varied on the zip code. Okay. So most of your stuff will probably fit in that category. Mm -hmm. So, but I'm just going to say it's an inch. Hit OK. It gives me my price. That would be nine dollars and thirty-five cents priority month. Gotcha. Okay. And you're going to want to run a label, most likely, correct? Mm -hmm. So I'm not going to do it. I'm going to take these out. Oops, I just broke that. Don't use that one again. Mm -hmm. Okay. So I would go label. But what I want to do before I hit start, I want to take this off. Okay, if I leave it on, I'm going to show since he's doing the video. I'm going to hit start and I move the weight so it's going to give me an error. So I got to go back through these again. 12, 9, 1, okay. Now start. It's going to ring, no labels. And it told me, please check the label dispenser. But what it does is it holds the postage. On the scale, it assumes the, the next package. So if we were to take this off and do that, get the motor to run, then it will reset the postage to zero to keep anybody from accidentally running off a 935 by accident. Which we have. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the secret. Take it off before you get the start to print okay. the label. Okay. Okay, okay let's get out of that. Uh, let's see, who changes the ink? Sam? Sam. Okay. He has a brand new inker up there. It is not compatible. Okay. So if you reach out to the supply department, I got to put an ID tag on it yet too, and tell them you got an inker, but you just got a new machine. It's not compatible. What can they do? Okay. Generally, if it's six months or less, they will either swap it out or give you credit, but okay. you have to send the old one back. Well, the new old one for the old machine. Okay. All right. Changes the same way, but do you want to know how? Just in case Sam is in here. Yeah. All right. Make sure the machine is awake. Make sure there are, are no errors. Yeah. I'm going to break it just because I want to. So I have an error. And if I walk up and try to change the ink, it comes up in orange. It says, cannot be done at this time. You don't want to change the ink when you have an error up. Otherwise, you run the risk of ruining the new cartridge. Mm. So don't bother opening the lid. Just hit OK until you get back to the home screen. Open the lid again. Now everything is green. It says change it when it's in the remove position. Mm -hmm. So right in here is your cartridge. Can you all see that? You're going to send this to everybody, right? Mm -hmm. Okay. There's a dimple down here at the bottom, and it shows your unlock. Snap it. Finger holds. That's your ink. Okay. It'll have two clear caps, two blue tapes. Caps mm -hmm. will come off first, then the tapes. Okay. All right. It goes back in this direction. Right side up, 
And here's your lock. There's another dimple down and back. Locks it in. Okay. Close the lid. Now, if this were a new cartridge, it would ask you, do you want to align the printhead? The answer is yes. Because it's a dual printhead. I don't know if you noticed the two places on the bottom. One's the upper half, one's lower. They both print that barcode. So you have to get that barcode lined up so it's legible for the post office. It requires a blank envelope because when you tell it okay, it's gonna start the motor and process an envelope through. Here's this really long print that says pick the straightest line, A, B, C, D, F, G. So you just use the keys or touch screen, get to the straightest line that you see, hit okay, locks it in for the life of the cartridge. I'm about to do it until you change the cartridge again. Okay? Loading labels. Everybody loaded labels before? Oh yeah. Okay. You know the right way and the wrong way? I never remember. Okay. I'm going to show you the right way. Decent stack. Mm -hmm. Take them all the way down. Correct. A lot of people go, oh, that's good. That is just now sitting at the roller that feeds the label. So it's the other side. Yeah, this is actually okay. some that are already used once. Yeah. So what might do, it might run one, might run two, probably not the third one because the labels are not in far enough. Sure. And you could also get a misfeed because the label dispenser only runs so long and then it times out. So that label may be partially fed. Then you get a mail jam in the base. Mm -hmm. You're hiding, aren't you? I am. <laughs> so take the decent stack all the way bottom. Almost sounds like a click, yeah. but you're actually just bottoming out. So now it sits up on there about a half an inch on the label. So it'll run that whole stack perfectly fine. Okay. You ever done multiple labels? Uh, I have. Yeah? I so you can run more than one. If you've got a bunch of packages, they're all the same. As long as it's not zip code different in their priority, you can tell you want 10, it'll run 10 and stop. So when you hit the label button, it gives you a chance to change that. It's kind of a nice feature. Yeah. Um, adding postage, who does that? Sam? Google, yeah. Or is it Sam? Uh, I have Sam does as well. Okay. Okay, so you know how to do it. Correct. Do you want everybody to know or not? Okay, it's top secret. No, it's not. Top I secret. will let you know this. I transferred the money from the old one to this one. Okay. So when you go in to add funds, you usually set the same amount over and over. Mm -hmm. You will have to change that. Okay. Because I transferred like six hundred and twenty some dollars or something like that. Okay. So just clear it with the C button, mm -hmm. then type in what post did you want and go. Oh, gotcha. Okay. All right. Anybody had a stoppage under here before? Oh yes. So you're familiar with the handle in the front? Correct. Yes. So this handle spring loaded, it drops rollers down, so you can pull it out real easy. Mm -hmm. That may be because of a misfeed or you had kind of a partial jam. Something got stuck. Mm -hmm. Okay. Still got the magic catch tray for the larger mail. Uh, let's see. What does in the front? Thickness. How does it work, though? It, it uh, raises or lowers the, uh, the roller. It's a separator. They're fingers. Okay. But what this does, I go into a lot of machines. This is in the up position. And what that does, there's a set of rubber fingers, it takes those out of the way. So you've just reduced your separation value. So if you got a lot of thin mail, you might get doubles. You might get where they're shingled out, half a print on one, half a print on the other. Or you get one that seals, but no print, one with the print that didn't seal. Mm -hmm. That's probably because this is in the up position. So double check that, make sure it's down. All right. I think that's all I have for now. You have any questions? Okay. <laughs> I'll put back your shortcut though. Put it over. Put it no. <laughs> I just want to make sure my two no. things get out. <laughs> Auction? <laughs> Are we all selfish this morning? This is all. Do you watch here. all your library books be returned right in front of you? Mm -hmm. Like, checked in? Yes. Right. Yeah. Dynamic. And then just hit the green and run it through. You decide whether you want to seal it or not? Yeah. I have See, it should be on. Yep. Okay. All right, next. And then seal. Voila. Voila. Next. Now, wow. it's going to run for 15 seconds. Okay. Shut up like so. Or you can hit the red stop button and stop immediately. Okay. I don't like to hear it run. It's... I know. You want to do it? Yeah, you are. Watch you. 
Yes. Now, you all use different account numbers, correct? Probably. Yeah. So your sleep time is set up. You just change the account. Turn off the ink. Okay. That. So I usually make them go to sleep You've a lot faster. You've got to measure this thing. So that forces the next person to come uh, in and yeah. add an account. It is. Yeah. So instead of yeah, that that that's following somebody else's. That's true. That way you don't so have you to want change that your way. way. So it goes to sleep faster. Yeah. Okay. And I have to measure this now, man. <laughs> well, it's not over 13 ounces. Oh, so I'm okay. Remember, you lied to me. You're right. Oh, You're over right. 13 okay. ounces. So sure. what, did it tell you what, what is okay. it? A large envelope? Uh, it says large envelope, 12.3. Okay. So now the question is on this one. I'll go fill you for a ball. How thick do you think that is? Uh, inch. Okay. Over three quarters of an inch is no longer a large envelope. Oh, sorry. Because of shade-based pricing. And I didn't see there's a cardboard or acrylic we sell in acrylic one that you can pass this through a slot oh. it actually is three quarters of an inch thick Son of a it goes through it with very minimal sure. resistance you're good oh, yeah. if you're going I think <laughs> some it's not three quarters one. of an inch and this will end up being a priority envelope okay mm. so you would have to tell the machine it's priority <sighs> yeah it's really it's, it's gonna be tight it's close uh -huh. so if you want to try this large envelope it may go I said, let's but it might right come right. back it could come back it or right to get one of those like, clear yeah. thing. How, how do you much, get one? Yeah. yeah. How much Talk to Tara. Let's I don't know how much the that's sale is. Okay, yeah. But it's called an acrylic template. Okay. For shape Maybe, base. Yeah. Okay. Since she's got to order dynamic scale anyway. Yeah. So she can, can order one of those put with it. Make one. All right. What's it called? A shape library. It's the acrylic shape base. Straight dip right in. Still play with that. She's dealing with Aaron and Dayton, so I'm, I'm gonna press my luck. <gasps> okay. Yeah. Yeah. And that TV show, game show, press yeah. my luck. Yeah. yeah. With Peter Toboggan. Yes, you got it. Which All right. What? Shape base. Okay. So we're gonna do one label. Stand or display, or whatever. Squeeze it through that machine. See the barcode on there? What it looks like nowadays? Like a QR mm -hmm. code. It's a big old barcode instead of a half barcode. Okay. Oh, let's do it. Also, what were you saying about